Today, we're gonna explore wool, cashmere, acrylic, and polyester, and which ones will keep you warm. These are some of the most common materials in sweaters and winter wear. We're gonna look at what they're made of, compare the warmth of each, and show you the purposes of each material so that next time you go shopping, you will be more informed. Wool. It's known to be one of the warmest fibers and comes from sheep or other animals. It's often seen in wool coats, wool sweaters, and woolen socks. Woolmark says, Merino wool is an active fiber that reacts to changes in body temperature. The textile school says the amount of moisture that wool absorbs and its ability to move it to evaporate into air is part of the reason why it keeps you warm. According to the textile school, some other benefits are breathable, anti-static, anti-wrinkle, biodegradable, renewable, sun safe. Um, I can attest to the warmth of wool, the anti-static and anti-wrinkle. Whenever I wear my all wool outfit, I don't get attached to my coat by the static. My flyaways aren't crazier than they already are. And anti-wrinkle wise, I vacuum packed my coats for about a week. So they were sitting in my suitcase and there were creases in my coats, but once I hung them for a couple days and wore them, they went away pretty quickly. Uh, my personal bias here is that I'm a big fan of wool and I typically wear it more often these days compared to other materials. Cashmere. According to Britannica, cashmere comes from cashmere goats and is taken from their downy layer during molting season. They separate it into coarse and fine hair and the higher percentage of fine hair, the higher quality the cashmere which is part of the reason why it makes it so expensive. Similar to wool, it retains the moisture so that you don't feel it on your skin. A lot of websites say that it's seven to eight times warmer than wool, but I wasn't able to find their sources for this statement. It just seems that retailers are saying it to say it, but I found one paper from Ohio State that said, on an equal weight basis, cashmere has three times the insulating value compared to wool. So that gives some sense of how warm it is objectively. The cashmere sweaters I have here are thinner than my all wool sweaters. For me, that's the benefit of having cashmere. Nothing too bulky, but will still keep you warm. Now onto acrylics. It's made from, according to the textile school, an unlikely combination of coal, air, water, oil, and limestone. Definitely a more modern material versus the natural fibers of wool and cashmere. The benefits include resist wrinkling, easy to wash, lightweight, fairly strong, and bulks up like wool. Cons would be that it attracts oil and static, which aren't my favorite things. I would say that acrylic is becoming more present in a lot of clothes we're wearing nowadays, but is it warm? According to Ice Wear IS, it says acrylic on its own is warm and warmer than when blended with cotton, but not as warm as something like wool or cotton on its own. It's soft and has a wool-like feel, but can degrade quicker than natural fibers and does not allow for much breathability. I would say from experience, this is pretty true. With layers, the lowest temp I would wear my acrylic sweater is like the mid thirties, around one or two degrees Celsius. And it does degrade quicker. You see more pilling with acrylic as well. Polyester. Another man-made artificial textile known as polythylene terephthalate. It's a petroleum product and very versatile when it comes to making clothing items. You can see it in everything you wear. I'm sure everybody has something polyester in their closet. According to the textile school, the polyester has a high thermal conductivity rating, so it will adapt to the environment easier. If it's cold, the sweater will be cold. If it's hot, the sweater or dress will be hot. When it comes to polyester, I think it's again in the same range as an acrylic sweater. I would say around the same pros and cons, but I do feel like after washing polyester more, it holds up better than acrylic, but that's just my personal experience when it comes to sweaters. I wouldn't wear a polyester sweater if it was frigid outside around zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Something to consider with polyester in any of the sweaters is thickness as well. I have this super thick polyester sweater or acrylic sweater and it's just as warm as some of my wool sweaters. I think cashmere sometimes is given too much credit for being warm because it's usually very thin, so I think it would be about the same as some polyester sweaters depending on the thickness of the polyester sweater. I do think that breathability comes into play as well because when I'm walking around and going into shops and whatnot, I don't want to be sweating inside the warm store after walking outside in the cold. I find that wool and cashmere usually prevent me from being sweaty and embarrassed. Wearing a thick polyester sweater will guarantee to make you sweat when you walk inside a warm store because it just holds your body heat and it, there's not much breathability there. I hope this was helpful in considering what to buy next time you're shopping. Let me know if there is any information I missed and what topics you would like me to cover next. Thanks. Bye.